All right, hello my beautiful lovelies. Welcome back to my Vibe Lit Abundant YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, hello, hi, how are you? My name is Shanetta from goldenlineage.com and over here on this Vibe Lit YouTube channel, I love to make in-depth tarot predictions, pick a card readings. <laughs> timeless collective readings just like this one and of course other spiritual related videos so if that is something that interests you you would like to continue seeing me and my energy definitely be sure to subscribe okay join this beautiful lit growing family all right and while you are subscribing be sure to ring that post bell down below <laughs> So you stay updated and you do not miss out when homegirl, when sister posts a future videos like so. You already know. Let's mother freaking get it. Let's go. Period. All right, family. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this super beautiful vibey collective reading. Okay, you guys, it's been what, like 10, 11 days since I, you know, dropped my last video. Woo, we, okay. <laughs> Bless you guys. Ooh, homegirl was getting everything together. Okay, but we're here. We're ready. Okay. Um, I cleansed my film room, cleansed my space. I've been shifting energy. All right. So that's exciting. Um, I just felt called, you guys, to pull some cards. Spirit's been telling me my ear, energy checkup, energy check-in, energy checkup, energy check-in. So that's what we're doing today. All right. Um, yes family so we're gonna just be checking the energy uh i'm asking spirit what needs to be heard what needs to be honored what needs to be brought to light today so really i don't know what this reading's about is whatever needs to be heard okay um really quickly i wanted to let you guys know for those of you that did not see the community post so many of you guys are always damning me and asking me am i doing another collective candle when is the next one so i'm actually doing one for this new moon in leo coming up on the 16th of July. So this particular collective candle, we're focusing on the biggest thing, self-love, self-confidence, boosting our self-esteem. Okay. I really wanted to focus on fifth house energy. Um, so we're also tapping into our gifts, our talents, our natural born gifts and talents and abilities, um, and getting more comfortable with sharing those talents with the world, with others. Okay. So if you've been wanting to, you know, tap more into, you know, feeling yourself, all right, Leo energy, it's Leo season new moon and Leo. Come on family. We've got to do it. This is the candle for you to tap into. Okay. Um, if you've been having creative blockages, self-esteem issues have been popping up, definitely tap into this candle. We are going to be going live on the 16th and doing the ritual together, dressing the candle. I'm so excited. All right. This is a good one for all the creatives out there, the singers, the dancers, the content creators, the models, the people in the beauty industry. All right. The music people. Okay. I'm missing some people out there. Don't come for me, but I'm excited about this one. Um, also, you know, adding some spice to our love life, <laughs> you know, little, little sprinkle, sprinkle, some spicy, some spicy energy, you guys. Stop. Okay. So yeah, that's what this new moon, uh, collective candle is going to be. If you would like to join, if you would like to participate, I always tell people you can send in whatever amount of donation you feel called to send in. No amount is too little. So don't, you know, be hard on yourself. Okay. What that's for is you're sending also your name and your birthday so that your name, your birthday. And if you have a little tiny message that you would like to be written on the petition, all that gets included. Okay. Because you know, we need to know who the energy is being directed to for this candle. So when you do send in your donation family, make sure that you send in your name, your date of birth. And if you do have a little message, send that in as well. Okay. Um, just check out the description box family. Okay. If you would like to join in, check the description box down below. All of the details will be 
in the description box, okay? If you would like to book a reading with me, I have like a few openings left, not nothing crazy. So if you've been waiting, uh, check out the description box as well. Um, but that's all I really wanted to start out by saying. I am going to be hosting a guided meditation, energy cleansing, energy clearing session at the end of the month. I'll keep you guys updated on that, okay? So, but yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, let's go. I just wanted to shout that out and tell you guys because not everybody um, sees the community tab. And so many people ask me about these collective candles. This one's gonna be spicy. So tune into the live July 16th. Let's get it, let's go to the collective reading. All right, spirit. All right. All right, spirit, please connect me with the viewers that have clicked on this video, that will be clicking on this video. Okay, what needs to be heard? What needs to be honored? What needs to be brought to light? All right, I wanna give a quick shout out to Brinley, okay? Because shout out to you, sister. She is so dope, but if you're watching this, hey boo, I just got off the phone with her. We just did a reading <laughs> and I have not used this tarot deck in forever. I just wasn't feeling connected, okay? But before I got on the phone with her, I was drawn to this one. I used this one for her reading and the, me the messages were just so beautiful and they were just flowing. So that's also a reason why I'm coming on here to do this collective reading because I wanna use it again, okay? But shout out to you, Brenly, if you are watching this, okay? Spirit, all right, let's get it, let's go. All right, what needs to be heard? What needs to be honored? What is the overall energy at this time for all the viewers tuning in? All right. Spirit, what have you been wanting to communicate? For everybody tuning in. Oh, wow daydreaming okay spirit what exactly have you been wanting to communicate what needs to be heard what needs to be honored what needs to be brought to light at this time i just got that song um dream um only problem is she whiz, I'm dreaming my life away. I need you so that I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wow. Okay, so this is the collective reading, this is the collective message here. Okay. So interesting spirit. Okay, so we have to talk about the seven of mother freaking cups. You guys, look at this card, okay? <laughs> seven of cups. So she's here, she's chilling, she's sipping her drink at the table and you can tell by her eyes, she is zoned out, okay? Like she is head in the clouds, thinking about so many different things, thinking about a person in particular. This is a specific message, you know, some of you guys, especially with Venus being retrograde at this time, Mercury is currently in its shadow period, getting ready to station retrograde soon. These are all themes of thinking of the past, reflecting, okay? Reflecting, thinking of the past, thinking about the what ifs. And spirit is wanting a particular person or a particular people that are that's watching this here. If you have been in your head like heavily about a particular old friend, a particular ex, a particular situation from the past that is unfinished, with the four of pentacles coming through in the reverse position underneath it, there's a need to release control. There's a need to release that attachment. There is a need to surrender. Okay. So if you have been heavily in your head and heavily thinking about a particular person, place, or a situation, release the control at this time. And that makes me think of like when you are constantly, so for example, when you're constantly thinking about a person and you're constantly pulling on their energy, you know, that's, it's kind of like, you know, chasing and running, right? So if you're pulling on their energy and, you know, you're doing all this stuff, they're going to continue to run, you know, run. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. But if you just release and surrender, 
you know, and focus on you and focus on yourself, then they feel that, that disconnect. And now they're running after you. Okay. So that is a particular message, especially with this eight of cups that came through as well. You know, uh, traditionally it's depicted as a person that has eight cups stacked up and they are walking into the horizon, walking and walking away from those cups. So it's like, you know, you have history with this person or the situation. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of emotional energy there. Right. But, you know, you're choosing to walk away. It's kind of like, you know, let the bird go. And if the bird comes back, then it's meant to be. So there's somebody that needs to hear that message. Like, you know, never force. Okay. Don't force, don't chase. We attract. And there's a, there's a message that spirit wants to give the collective at this time. This could even be about like a, a job situation. You applied for this job. Okay. You went to the interview and you're like, you know, in your head, like, why haven't they called me back? When are they going to call me back? Da -da 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 -da. We need to release uh, the control. We need to surrender, just detach and just, you know, tell the universe and affirm to yourself what is meant for me will always be. Okay. So if you feel like you've been waiting around for this opportunity or this person to come back around or what have you, and they haven't, it could just be that bless. Maybe that person or that situation isn't the best thing for you. And there's something even better that is about to enter your life. But if you're so focused on just pulling on this, you know, opportunity or this person just so focused on them, 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 but you don't even realize there's like a whole bigger and better, you know, situation or opportunity or connection. So I'm not telling you that the person or the situation that you're heavily focused on and thinking about isn't going to happen, but what spirit is saying is, hey, like, let's release the grip a little bit. Let's breathe and let's bring all of that energy back into yourself. Okay. Let's, let's bring, let's call your energy back into the heart space. Okay. And just affirm to yourself and remind yourself that what is meant to be will always be what is meant for you will always find you. You don't need to go uh, haywire and do all this crazy willy nilly stuff and, and do, you know, a, a jump, skip and a loo for what's meant for you. Nah, what's meant for you will always find you. Okay. And that even makes me think with this King of wands here, like, you know, you're starting a business, you're starting a YouTube channel, you're starting your social media platform. Okay. Leo themes, fifth house, right? You're starting this business and you're like, Oh, you know, stressing, how am I going to get the clients? How am I going to get the views? How am I going to do this? How, how, how Whew, breathe. Set the intention that the people that are in need of your services, the people that are in need of your message, the people that are in need of your inspirational content are out there and they will be shown the way to your channel or to your business, right? So there's a big message, you know, with Venus currently being retrograde, Chiron is currently retrograde, Pluto, okay, Saturn. There's a lot going on in the cosmos, you guys. We need to remind ourselves, like when you catch yourself, like, you know, your energy is scattered. You're thinking about this. You're thinking about that. You're thinking about, you know, why this isn't working out, why this person hasn't, you know, called you, why this, this, that. When that's happening in your reality, you need to tell yourself, it's time for me to breathe. I'm doing too much. Let me come back into home. Let me come back into heart space. You know, we have that four of wands, heart of the spread. Four of wands is the home. Four of wands is stability. It's harmony. It's, it's, it's a strong structure energy. All right. Come back into you. All right. Because if you're chasing and you're chasing and chasing, you know, you're, you're using a lot of your precious energy when you could just attract. Okay. You know, light a mother freaking candle on it and walk away from the candle and trust, have faith that what is meant to conspire on your behalf will, it will. 
And that is it. So mode it be, it is done. Four of pentacles in the reverse position always talks about releasing control. Release. Let go. You, you're clenching too tight, okay? You're holding on too tight, all right? You're holding on to all these, you know, old old clothes from years ago when they don't even, you know, it doesn't even fit you no more. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even, you know, bring joy to you anymore when you wear it. Let's go ahead and donate those clothes and allow space for new clothes that make you happy, that make you feel good. You feel me? So... That is what it is, you guys. That is what spirit felt as though we all needed to hear. We have death in the reverse position as the back of the deck energy. And for me, this is resisting change. Okay, you're resisting a, a big, important, powerful transformation that's inevitable. It has to happen. Okay, wow, spirit. You know, so whatever is leaving your life, whoever has left your life, whatever is crumbling down and, you know, coming to an end at this point, it's a part of the season. It's a part of the season, but you better believe that that just means that something even more in alignment with you, who you are, your soul's purpose, all of that is coming into your life, boo. All right. So I want to go ahead and end this collective reading with an oracle. All right. Spirit, any other messages? What needs to be heard? What needs to be honored? Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself is what Spirit just said. Spirit said, celebrate you. I mean, after all, it's Leo season. What have you done recently for yourself? How have you poured into yourself recently? Have you done that at all? If not, get on it. Okay. Celebrate yourself. You know, these are, this, this is the message specifically now for the people that are going through a breakup that are going through, um, a situation where, you know, you want that person back in your life. You want that person back in your energy and you are just, you know, you're like, you know, frantic you know, celebrate you. Okay. Cause you're so heavily focused on this person, but you know, imagine if you were so heavily focused on yourself in that same way, you know, cause I bet you're thinking highly of this person. They're so sweet. They're so fine. They're so this, they're so that, but can we shift the energy and put all of that, those affirmations up into yourself? Why are you the catch? What do you bring the table? Let's speak on that. Let's think about that. Okay. Dang spirit. Dang. The job didn't call you back. They chose somebody else. That's okay. You were overqualified. You probably would have been, you know, doing, you know, a, to, to, like, you know what I'm saying? So you got to think about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because one opportunity didn't work out does not mean that no more will in the future. So can I get an Oracle? For the collective, what needs to be heard? What needs to be honored? What needs to be brought to light at this time? All right, we have Neroli. And then we also have unconditional love. Neroli is cause and effect, okay? So I want to go ahead and read the description because it goes in. So it says, some things happen for a reason. Others just come with the season. Why does spirit got bars today? <laughs> when Neroli comes to you in a reading, pay attention to every thought, word, deed, which is a cause that sets off a wave of energy throughout the universal grid, which in turn creates the effect. Do you want your effects to be desirable or undesirable? Adjust your thoughts accordingly. Flow with life. Dance with the wind. There is no point in trying to control the riptide right now. Make sure that in the future, your actions don't create the riptide in the first place. Be constant and holistic with your actions at this time. The affirmation of this card, I am in control of my reactions. I write my own destiny and I create a stress-free world for myself. 
Okay. Like, and that's also like, you know, are you stressing over things that you really have no control over? Are you stressing over things that, you know, no matter what you did in this present moment, you couldn't change it. You know, you're stressing out about something that is literally out of your hands. All you can do is surrender and say, spirit, I don't know what to do here. So I, I'm surrendering and I'm just letting you guide the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's something that I live by because I've gone through a lot of stuff in my life where I was in some very interesting, you know, circumstances. And I was like, I genuinely don't know what the hell I'm about to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to do, but I, 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 there's a little inkling of faith. Okay. Um, that is inside of me. That's like, okay, it's okay. Spirit, whoever's rocking with me on the spirit realm, is they're holding down the ship, okay? There's no way I'm about to go out like this. And, you know, that's something that I feel called to share with you guys as well. Let's tap into this rose energy, okay? So this is unconditional love. In order to be happy, oh wait, in order to be happy oneself, it is necessary to make at least one other person happy. Okay. Rose as the oil of unconditional love represents the harmony and balance that can be found in relationships. This card can also herald the arrival of a newer relationship in your life. Listen to heart's desires. Listening to heart's desires becomes the challenge. The answer is yes. The affirmation, I encounter love in all my relationships and I love these encounters. I give out love and it is returned to me multiplied many fold. Okay. Yes, you guys. So tapping into that unconditional self-love for yourself is really what I'm feeling at this time. You know, if you're over here wondering why, you know, this particular person doesn't mess with you, they're acting weird towards you. Whew, Pull your energy back, okay? Call your energy back because you shouldn't even be worried about this, how this person feels about you in the first place because it's irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Call your energy back, okay? You've been stressing, about a, uh, stressing out about uh, you know, a bill that just popped up. Call your energy back. Surrender. Breathe it out and say, it's going to get taken care of. Shit. <laughs> Somehow, some mother freaking way. <laughs> baby okay so that is what spirit felt is as though we all needed to hear a reminder to come back inside of heart space to to come back down to our root chakra Whew. breathe it out so wherever your mind has been scattered you know um for the parents out there back to school you got to do this you got to run around you got to do this you got to do that you got to huh breathe come back inside okay come back call your energy back okay so family that was the collective reading that is what spirit wanted all of us to hear today and you know this was a dope message. This was a very beautiful, powerful message. I'm excited to share this with you guys. If this resonated with you and you would like to let me know, definitely comment down below. I can't wait to read the comments, you guys, because this was really powerful. I'm not even going to hold you, okay? Um, definitely be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys want to see more like so. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.